Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Bo. We're going to be doing a video today on how to use Cheat Engine to edit your army to give it to any size you want. This is how I do the 300, 500, or 100 army series. I don't go around manually grabbing each person and upgrading them. What I do is I use Cheat Engine. So what is Cheat Engine? Well, here's Cheat Engine right here. Basically what it does is it looks for memory inside of a process, in this case the game, and says, okay, well in this memory location there's a value. The value that we're trying to find is the value of our army. So the one I'm going to show you today will be a real quick tutorial. You'll download this, you'll install it, okay? It's not a virus or anything. Some, some programs freak out about it and say, oh, it's a virus or whatever. Okay, so this is what Sheet Engine looks like. Yeah, you may want to blow this thing up a bit because it's going to be a little tough to see if you're not looking at full screen. But anyway, so first thing we're going to do is we're just going to load up Mountain Blade. So in this case, I would highly recommend you start in windowed mode uh, because you're going to want to not have to do an alt tab because it will screw stuff up. Okay, so there we go. See, this way we can easily just pop Cheat Engine, Mountain Blade, Cheat Engine, Mountain Blade. So, I mean, if you play windowed anyway, great. If not, whatever. Just do this so that way you can edit your army easily. Okay, here we go. So we'll load up Demo Dude again. Hit the Control T so I can see all my troops. Okay, let's say that, uh, you know, this is my main place. I really want to have, let's see what we got here. Swadian Knights. I want to I wanna have 17. I have 17 right now. Okay. So I have 17 Swadian Knights. There is some memory location in this game that has a value of 17, so we're going to find it. So in Cheat Engine, you're going to go here, and you're going to say Open a Process. We're going to click Mountain Blade Warband. Press Open. So the first one we're going to do is we want to first scan. We're looking for an exact value. Now I suggest just hitting All Value Types. I don't know what that specific one is, but I don't care. It doesn't matter. So in this case, we know the exact value we're looking for on the first Start is 17, so we're going to hit scan. It'll take a little bit to do its thing. It'll just be rocking and rolling. And we're going to get a huge list of, yeah, a bunch of stuff. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to give one away. So now we have 16. Okay, so what we're going to do now is select decrease value by, we'll say 1, because we're looking for 16. So originally the first one 17. So hit next scan. Now we're getting many less. See, we got a little shot. Now we give one more, so we have a value of 15. So if we do a decrease by one again, ah, now we're starting to get somewhere. We give one more back. Looks like these are our values. So we're going to test this one. Usually it's the one in the middle for me, so I'm going to select this and say I want 100. Okay, so if I so there it is. So that was it right there. So there should be 100. Right? We, all we did was say, in this memory location, there's 100. The cool part about this, this is not just Swadian Knights. Watch. This is any troop. So in this case, now that we know the memory location, we can see there was 14. Now it's 1 because these are Serenade Troop Infantry. So if we go here, change value to 200, right? This doesn't update quite yet. But if we say give, ah, we got 200 now. Okay, so you can do this for anything. Let's say I want some more master archers, right? So I only had, I had 20. Let's go here and change that shit over to 500. Oh, I don't want that. You want to right click here, change memory, and then do 500. Okay. Now if we press done and leave, I've got 500. So we are just doing that memory location. Okay, so that's how you use Cheat Engine to make these anything you want. Now you can do this for pretty much any value. The only problem is you have to have a value that will be able to change. So if you want to do it for like party morale or something, you have to do an action that makes your party morale shitty in order to change that. But I don't know. You can set it at a fixed value. It really doesn't matter to me. Uh, if you wanted to change like renowned or something, you could do 1494, do a battle that gives you one renowned, or whatever the amount of renown you get, and then try to find it, and you can adjust it to whatever you want. Same with right to rule, same with anything. It's just, it takes time, because you can't, you have to decrease it or increase it, because trying to find the memory location for a specific value requires it to change a bit. Otherwise, it's gonna be really difficult to pin it down. Uh, but that is how you do it. That is how you take 
Uh, let's see. Wow, we really don't have a lot of options here. <laughs> that is how you get it done, fellas. You uh, you just have to use cheat engine. So cheat engine, of course, remember to select the process, mountain blade, find your initial value. So whatever it is, so in this case, 500, stick that in there as a new scan. So that's the first value is 500, and then the next decrease by one, decrease by one until you find it. Again, this is a video, so just go back, rewind, watch the video again until you get it. So I hope that was helpful for a lot of you guys. Remember, you can do this with anything. And you know what's funny about this cheat engine thing? It works for almost every game on a PC. So if you ever feel like doing something you don't want, you can always change it. Just saying. Oh, it's pretty easy. All right, guys. So like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you guys a little later. See ya.